we will play first. We've got all our colors, but we only have a late spell, and we're mm, five land. We've got so many two drops that I think we might want to mulligan this. It's a lot of land. Yeah. Okay. This is better. We've got a real win condition. Um, as long as we get a green, we're going to be in a decent place, and we're getting out there with a the butcher ghoul early anyway, so... They're red, rushing in to kill us. It'll slow them down a lot. Oh, they're blue. That's yeah, true. Oh, there's oh the green. sweet, we got the oh. green. It's okay. We're not playing that guy yet. Katrina. Hi bye. Hi bye. <laughs> Hi bye. <laughs> it's really nice to follow up a two drop with a trusted force mage. I'll tell you that. Which one's the force mage? Force mage. Force mage will force some action. So that guy is oh, okay. probably gonna let us hit him. I'm guessing. When you when you see an opponent slam green before combat, you're never happy because it probably means something like this is happening. Sure. The only one I have. Okay. <laughs> see, this will be. We don't get homicidal seclusion quite yet, but we will get it eventually. Oh, is he? He's a 2-2 He's a two, two that can spend mana to become first strike, which definitely will be relevant when he has enough mana if he leaves it open. But he just let you beat through. Yeah, he was definitely going to do that, because my guy comes back as a 3-3. Three, three. Right, so it's not. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. <laughs> Your guy dies, and mine comes back as a 3-3. Three, three. Right. <laughs> Win. Blue-white. I might have defined deflection, which I think we should have taken in retrospect. So he's definitely not... He could be double blocking the Trusted Force Mage here. Which, depending on what we draw... See, now we're going to get into Homicide of Seclusion, probably with the Marrow Bats, which is going to be great. Um, so yeah, I think both, right? Because yeah, even if he double blocks, that's just going to make Homicide of Seclusion insane. And he comes back... Well, he doesn't come back, but... Now he's just going to chump his one dude, and he's going to draw a card off of it. Okay. So he does his thing to get some card to further his universe. Here, I'm wondering if none of our, if none of our guys are dead, we'd probably just go Marrow Bats and start coming in with yeah. four from the sky, and then Homicidal the Seclusion is our backup is... plan. Homicidal Seclusion is like the reason we're oh, yeah. black. <laughs> That's, yeah. That's... <laughs> That's all good. So yeah, as long as we only have one creature, we get to win. The Drake is I'm not worried about because he's not he's gonna probably hit for two here yeah. Yep. Yeah, the, the Drake can't sure. block our uh, our guys so unless he unless he, it can, it can he there's the pretty much though. not much he's gonna yeah but I'm not worried about that because then we kill him when we lose four life but he loses a card so here we get to hit I don't think we're going Wandering Wolf You're not this gonna game put the bats in? I will but there's just no reason to put him in before combat oh, right. to show. In case. Like, I don't know what he could even think about doing right here. Like, righteous blow of this guy. I mean, he think he's trying to block with his Drake, which can't block ground, and he's sadly realizing he can't do it. But won't the Drake stop the bats? It will, but the bats can pay for life to regenerate. Oh, so, okay. so I'll pay the life. He'll lose the dude. So at the end of the day, it's worth it. Yeah, he'll get in for two if he wants to, but I'm not concerned about that. My stomach is having a negative response to the ice oh, cream. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, he's gonna not do anything, probably. No. I mean, I'd swing with the Moreland dude if I were him, but I'm just gonna let it hit me, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, there it is. I mean, I could. Where's yeah. The if I. His life's 11, mine's 18. If I were to block it and take four, I'd force him to spend the three mana, which could be beneficial. Right. Um, but... He's, he's not using the mana anyway. Well, so. no, but I mean, he might. He has five cards, so it, I might want to try to take him off of that. Man. You gonna do it? No, I probably should, but I'm getting distracted by my upset stomach. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Let's see what happens now. More useless wolves. Okay. Might as well bring them out, well, then, right? N no. N maybe. They do get. They don't get past his dude. It's only creatures with less. Ugh. 
Right, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll survive. Yeah. Let's see what he does here. I don't know if he, if he has a righteous blow. He's probably gonna kill. Righteous blow does two damage. Oh. He's gonna bounce something, or he's gonna vanish my dude. Okay, vanishment puts it on top of the library. It's not much I can do about that. It'll come back next turn. I think maybe now he blocks my. There it is. He's doing that, which. I almost want to lose it because I can go homicidal, but it's just not worth it. Um, this expensive play is the homicidal seclusion. Um, I'm gonna get it out there. Well, it should. I don't really like showing it. Yeah, you don't. I don't want to show it. But next you, turn, you I'm force maging. I, I am sort of reaching blocker. a, yeah. yeah. I'm reaching a point of you gotta make a of overwhelming him life-wise, depending on what he does. And I can always throw things at him and let him die and then homicidal seclusion. Yeah. If I had a way to make sure this died, then that would be one thing, but... I don't know if I mind losing a wolf here, but no. oh, I've got the force mage coming. So if he puts a three power, I get in there. Yeah, I would. So uh, if he puts an under three power, I mean, I'm gonna see what he does. You, you, okay. Because then the force mage pumps him. He gets in for whatever he gets in for. I'm still not too worried. Defangs that dude. So now he becomes a. He's just gonna block and die. I'm glad I didn't play the homicidal seclusion yet because, um, Still because okay, so he's playing some garbage card that can't possibly work in his deck. Sacrifices it. I discard a card. That's fine. But uh, but now you need to play your. Oh no! No, it's no, okay. I'm I'm, okay. I'm all he's good. Doesn't... Yeah. I'm getting in for four. Force Mage can block this guy. No, I'm actually... The Marrow Bats can block him. And then die. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, the defang. Yeah. We're happy for that to happen. Um, maybe he Righteous Blows? That's the only thing I'm really worried about. Because he always he seems always to pause mana, for a though. while. No, he's one mana. That's what it costs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Looks like that's game, right? Yeah, it's gonna. He's gonna. Well, you never know. You could slam something. Yeah. No oh. slamming. Gloom surgeon. Right. Um, let's see what his tricks are. He didn't have crippling chill before combat or anything like that. He could bounce something. He's gonna do something. Maybe now, he's righteous blue. To do it. I know he's got four cards and five mana. What can't right. he do? <laughs> Must have been a really bad draw. There's there the righteous blow. It took a while for him to work up to it, which now means my dude is going to get killed, and he'll spend the mana to do some stuff with it. So yeah, that's some, some nasty shit. Yep. But then if you're if he swings your bats this time. Well, right. My bats will block whatever it is. Um, right? Yeah, I'm just wondering about playing the Gloom Surgeon or not. What is the Gloom Surgeon? If combat damage? He, he stops damage, so... Mm -hmm. But that might stop him from swinging, and we want him to swing, mm -hmm. so... We'll hold off for now. What's he doing? Huh. Okay. Not too bad. Let's see if he swings to clear our bats for us. I expect him to attack. Thank you. That works for me. Swamp's not super relevant. Do you want to drop your no, I'm gonna uh, drop the undying dude into the fight. I'll drop the swamp at some point. Actually, I'm going to keep it, because I don't have... If I draw a six drop, I can play it. Oh, right. 
So now he is a... 4-2 lifelink. And he comes back as a 5-3 lifelink. Oh, man. Oh, I can use the... <laughs> Here. Yeah. Cast instance and abilities to activate. Just press OK. Much improved health. Um, so he traded his dude for my dude. I gained a bunch of life, and we're all good. Whew. Feeling better? Oh, much better. <laughs> I think I don't know if it was the ice cream that set it off, but there was anger from the <laughs> body. And now there's peace. Now let's see. He brings his angel back with a counter and another human. So he's definitely accomplishing something. Unfortunately for us. Um, so we jump in there and trade, gain more life, and then play out another creature, I guess. He might just start chomping and then swing back at me for seven, which is kind of annoying. But he can just throw a human at you now, right? Well, he and can just block. And then you just gain one life. And I gain five it. life. Oh, okay. So that's... Yeah. So I'm not worried about that. I'm just wondering. But he might... He might he might double here to get rid of my guy, but he knows I have three cards, so he knows like I wonder what creature's coming next to be really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and that enchantment's still on the table. Too. Yeah, it's likely gonna stick around. I usually don't main deck enchantment hate, but he might cite it in next turn because he's white and white has a enchantment removal. There it is. There yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. Good call. Um, well, they both die, so... That's fine. Hi. And another 5-3 zombie. There you go. <laughs> we just like to keep 5-3 zombies on the table. Whenever you want. It's, what, 10 o'clock now? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if she's so beautiful. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs> okay. So. He's gonna chomp. Oh, nice crippling chill. Which is pretty annoying because I'm gonna oh, man. go to four. Oh no, I'm gonna go to two against that. Mm -hmm. Crippling chill, crippling chill. I think I might play the Timberland Guide. He's a 2-2. Two -two. It's either that or maybe the Gloom Surgeon. Maybe the Gloom Surgeon. The Gloom Surgeon can put put his guys on top of his deck? Um, but no, will, the Gloom will... Surgeon, this will get rid of my enchantment, but I can't really afford to go to 2, because he's not going to untap next turn. Right. So I have to respond. Um, I could to... play this guy too and just try to go for the five. Yeah, I mean, he's only... But the problem is, if he just blocks, the... if the guy, if he just decides to hold back, right. then he that is a problem. Because he can just stall the board mm -hmm. um, while he goes digging for better answers. And when you um, just need to finish up. Yeah.
So he keeps tapping. He's he's gonna untap not this time but next time. Okay. Crippling Shield's pretty annoying. It's pretty gnarly. Yeah, like I said, annoying, uh, annoying stuff. He's dropping land too. More big angels. Ah, oh, this guy. Okay. See, it's kind of annoying, but at least we can still swing in here, which will well we can't swing in this time. So, but yeah, we had to play a creature. We might have been better off playing the Timberland guy because he would give us the power to get the life of back. Blood artist, though. Huh. Blood artist at least sets us up for some life gain when things finally do start dying next turn. But the problem is, next turn we go to four, and we don't have the ability to finish him at that point. Because... Uh... Well, God. no, we, it's, it actually is fine. Um, this is, yeah, this is actually not bad. It took me a while to see it <laughs> for some reason. Gotta remember the power of the guide. So you can put that target on... Now he might just take it and go to two. Um, but at least now he can block this guy and I gain a life. So I'm at 10. And um, and then if something else dies, I go to, I'm one turn, I'm, I'm not gonna die that next turn. So there's a right. chance. Right. Homicidal did what it was supposed to do. The only question in my mind looking back at the plays was is it smart to attack with everything? I mean, I think it was. Yeah, I don't, you didn't really have any. But, yeah, I did get blown out by that unless righteous you, blow. Unless you kept your bats around to block that flyer. But see, I knew that, well... But he couldn't take them. No, the bats... I'm, I'm talking more about was it smart to attack with the force mage knowing that he had the righteous blow. Uh, knowing that if he had righteous blow, it was going to kill a lot of stuff. Oh, he made me lose Joint Assault. Well, my guys aren't soul bonded anyway, but Joint Assault could have been a game deciding card very easily because I would have gotten in for an extra two, and that could right, have been it. Been yeah. But next turn, all these guys will be untapped, and I'll be able to do something. So let's see if he attacks. Yep. He does attack. He's gonna drop something else then. Let's see what he drew. And then you just have to break through. Well, he's dead right now, or he's almost dead. Well, that's, so he's going to do something to me. Well, I'm not going to play that guy yet. Let's see what we do here. Got to be a little careful. I don't think I have to worry about it that much, though. No, Timberwolven guy dying is fine, because then we would, the we would win. Blood artists, so you, you yeah. He's got to have like, uh, uh, he's got to have the, force us to, uh, he's really, well, he's going to be dead if that happens. He's got to have something. He's got to have uh, the blue spell that bounces my dude. That's oh, the build from reality, yes. Thank you. That's exactly what I was talking about. So, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, right, I'm gonna be dead. Oh, sh barely. And you can't bounce anything to the graveyard, can you? I can't sacrifice a dude. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's like if he has each, if he has each of these spells in the right order, right, I'll be dead. And now I have the ability to play stuff that would totally stop him, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. If I had gotten the joint assault, I would have gotten to over. one, but yeah. that still wouldn't have been enough. That's it. Yeah, appeal from reality was a. Decider, a decider there. Yeah. I mean, his string of. He went from a, like a bad deck to like an amazing string of draws. <laughs> <laughs> so now I really had go, control of that. Gonna... Yeah. Well, I can shuffle in. Like, if I really wanted to go crazy with this sort of nonsense. The. But. I mean, it, that wasn't even a factor. His guy was hitting mine. You know. Right. It I, wasn't. I don't think it's. You need to be able to he is blue it, white, you know? so maybe there's a reason for it. 
He didn't have any artifacts or enchantments that no, I can remember. Oh, that was just a unfortunate way to go, to say the least. And that was one of my better draws, because Homicidal Exclusion makes a big difference. Here. Crippling Chill, really. See, that's why I don't like fighting blue, because, like I said, black just gets really... It's like, my one creature, oh, you did horrible things to him. Down. No. Creatures with flying can't block, but that wasn't... I mean, there's there's flying creatures that I don't want to have to deal with blocking, so... It didn't matter that game, but I could see it mattering in, from blue-white. Oh, Blood Artist. It seems like 